Welcome to Tech Tip Tuesday. I'm Allison Rogers, Instructional Technology Specialist here at RESA. And today's Tech Tip Tuesday is going to focus on the tool called Boomerang for Gmail. Boomerang can be used to do a couple different things. You can schedule emails to send later. You can use automated follow-up reminders. You can use read receipts. You can use AI to write more efficient emails. And lastly, you can send reoccurring emails using Boomerang. And that's what we're going to focus on today. So perhaps there's an email you often find sending to the same person or group of people every week or monthly. You can use Boomerang to schedule recurring emails that you only have to write once. So start by going to your Chrome web store and search Boomerang. And then go ahead and add Boomerang for Gmail to your Chrome. So it's already been added, but you'll see an Add to Chrome button looks like this. Add it to your Chrome. And then once it's been added and you accept the permissions, you'll see a little icon that represents the Boomerang extension. And then you'll want to go back to your Gmail and refresh. And now you'll notice that Boomerang has been added to your Gmail. So a few things will look differently. You have the pause option. You've got this Boomerang button. If you click on that, um, it gives you options to set up your recurring emails or scheduling emails. And then up at the top, you've got the little Boomerang icon. If I click that, I can manage my scheduled messages. So anything that's already been set to go out at a certain time, I can manage those here. If I go back to my Gmail and I select settings, then that will give me an option to uh, personalize my settings. So when I go to actually compose an email now, I don't just have one send now button. Now I have a red send later button. So anything in this bottom level, that's referring to the boomerang um, extension. So let's say I have an email that goes out weekly or monthly to the same group and it's maybe a reminder or has the same information and I just want to write that email, schedule it, and then you know have to basically forget about writing anymore now that it's scheduled. So I can just go ahead and type in whatever it is that I want sent out. And then instead of clicking send now, I click the red send, send later button. And here's where I can normally go in and you know schedule it. You know, if I'm writing an email on a Friday afternoon and I want someone to read it on Monday morning, maybe I can schedule it to be sent on a Monday morning. Or if I want to actually set a message up to recur at a specific time, then I click the schedule recurring message. And so here's where I can set up how I want that specific message sent. So maybe I want to, it to start on a specific date and be sent at a specific time, whatever that may be. And I can set it up to repeat. So maybe this is something that's going to come out monthly on the same date, let's say. So every month on the 24th, that's when it will be sent out. Um, and I can set it up to end after a certain number of messages. So maybe I have like a monthly meeting. And so I just want it to stop after this year and then maybe reschedule it. Um, or I can have it be sent a stop on a specific date. Or I can say no end date. This is going to continually be set out um, until I go back in and change the settings. So now I know that at 2 o'clock on the 24th every month, this will be sent out as a reminder for whatever it is I want to set up. So I can click schedule. And now this email is going to automatically be sent out to who I've scheduled it to uh, monthly at 2 o'clock on that specific date. So now let's say I have it set, I'm good to go, but I want to go back and maybe edit it or change the time. Now if I just go up to this little boomerang icon and I select manage scheduled messages, then it will load anything that I've already set up. So you can see now I have under recurring messages the email that I just set up. So I can go in there and actually edit it, you know, maybe change the content or reschedule it. Maybe I don't want it to be set on a certain date. I want it to be sent, you know, the first week of every month or maybe I want it to become weekly. But it's nice that, you know, you set these up and you don't have to just go to your sent folder to see when they've been going out. You can actually go in and say, what did I schedule again? And I can go through and manage, edit, delete these, reschedule them. And the same thing for any of the emails that were, you know, sent to be scheduled to be sent later. I can access all of that here. So that's it for today's Tech Tip Tuesday. If you have an idea, question, or suggestion for a Tech Tip Tuesday topic, email me and your idea may be featured in a future training or Tech Tip Tuesday Blast.